going to help. She has, what do you have on today, Kennedy? Raiders number four, Derek Carr. <laughs> so we're a football family, and my husband has been a Raider fan since he was a little boy and absolutely loves the Raiders. And so now she's a little Raider fan as well. <laughs> uh, so anyway, it is Friday. I don't know about you, but I'm super excited, even though it seems like every day is the same right now. I still get excited for Friday and for the weekends, not like we have some big plans going on some trip, but I just love the weekend. And so we usually make the weekends kind of fun, right? What do we, what do we call Fridays? Family movie night. And also it's May 1st. It's May 1st. That's right. May 1st. And we call it Fun Food Friday Family Movie Night. And so we like to watch movies and have a really fun meal. And so I thought today would be really fun to make a ice cream that you could enjoy on your Friday night or Saturday. So you can see these are the only ingredients. There are four ingredients and this is a dairy-free Four, that's right. Simple ingredients. Simple ingredients. We have four simple ingredients to make our ice cream, and it's delicious. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. If you have a blender, that is a great way to start. So I have a Vitamix. We're going to go ahead and take one can of full-fat coconut milk, right? Yep. And so you want the full fat because it needs to have the cream as well as, just spill that a little bit, as well as the milk. So I'm gonna pour that in it's, the mixer. I'm gonna put it that sort in there. of looks like a mini Antarctica. Oh, a mini Antarctica. <laughs> All right, clean that mess up a little bit. <clears throat> okay, so I have one can of full fat coconut milk. And then, do you know what we have here, Kennedy? It's either vanilla or something else. Yeah, it's vanilla. So we have one teaspoon of vanilla. We're gonna dump that in. Wonderful. And then we have a quarter cup. I'll give you a towel, sweetie. Of something. We have a quarter cup of maple syrup. You can do maple syrup or you can do uh, honey as well. But both are great alternatives uh, to regular sugar, their natural form. And so we have, today I have maple syrup. I've done it with both and they're both delicious. So try it out and see. And then what do we have there? I forgot. This is- Wait, chocolate powder. That's chocolate powder, that's right. Go ahead and dump that in. I have uh, three, tablespoons of powder. And before I blend that, I wanted to show you, so there's a difference in types of powder. So cocoa powder, which is what most of you would, would look at, one generally has dairy in it, it has a lot of other things, it's not the purest form. But cacao powder is an antioxidant, it's high in antioxidants, and it is one of the superfoods. It has polyphenols in it, as well as vitamins and minerals. All it is is the powder. So it's unsweetened. It's good for you, right? Antioxidant, yep. polyphenols, important things that we want. And so I have that in my Vitamix. I'm going to place the lid on. And you're just going to blend it long enough to mix all of the ingredients together. So you want it to be nice and creamy. Vitamix is funny. <laughs> it is funny, isn't it? It goes kind of fast. Yep. She doesn't like it when we make smoothies, though, because it's loud. Yeah, and so does in our dog. <laughs> so you're just going to blend this up. Now, if you don't want it to have chocolate, don't add the powder. You can just do vanilla. If you want to do... Let me turn this off first. I think that's good. If you want to do fruit, so you want strawberry ice cream, chop up fresh strawberries and you can add fresh strawberries into it. Peaches, 
It's uh, getting to be peach season, so you can chop up fine uh, pieces of peach and add peach to it. I love peach. Peach. And what else do you love? Mangoes. Oh, yeah, and I love pineapple. So you could make a variety of fruit ice creams, really, and do whatever flavor sounds good to you. <laughs> All right, and then I have a Cuisinart ice cream maker. And so I'm going to go ahead and put this together and put the lid on. And I'm going to show you a picture. I'm sorry that it is not. Let me see if I can move the camera over here briefly. It's okay. this one right, right here. here. I'm going to turn it on. And then I'm slowly going to add my coconut mixture inside. And I've tried the ice cream, and it's actually really good. <laughs> all right, so add it all in. Now, you will leave this going, your ice cream maker, for about 20 to 30 minutes. You will notice that it will start to get nice and thick. At that point, when it gets a good, thick consistency, you can go ahead and take it out of the ice cream maker, put it in a container, and pop it in the freezer in order for it to set a little bit more. Kennedy, can you get the ice cream out of the freezer that we already have this up? Oh, yeah. So the Cuisinart is my favorite ice cream maker. It's super simple to use. In the freezer. Oh, freezer. Oh. <laughs> yeah, ice cream melts in the refrigerator. There we go. All right, so you can see this is the finished product, our chocolate dairy-free ice cream. You can put toasted nuts on it, toasted coconut uh, flakes, fruit. You want to make a banana split, chop up your banana in half, put your ice cream on it, and it will be delicious. First, I thought she was making an ice cream sundae with that. <laughs> Which would be kind of fun too. The great thing is, is that you saw four ingredients. And who doesn't love it when you can have chocolate? That is good, healthy benefits, right? So anyway, we hope that you enjoy this dairy-free, simple ice video. cream video that we made for ice cream. And if you make one, share a picture at Whole Living with Wendy. We'd love to see it, would we? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we want to wish you a happy, happy weekend. And it's May 1st, so happy May 1st. Happy May Day. So <laughs> have a great weekend, and we will see you back on Tuesday at 1130 Pacific for Cooking in the Kitchen with Whole Living with Wendy. Thanks, you guys. Bye.